two big problems that people have with their websites. The two problems are content and authority. Generally speaking, people don't have good quality content for their website. And even if they do have good quality content, they don't have the authority. In order to get clicks, you have to have authority. The user has to be able to trust you and they have to believe that what you're saying is good information. If they don't trust you and they don't believe in you, they're not going to click and you're not going to get any sales. Jack Jacker is designed to solve both of those problems and also use social media to be able to get traffic to your site as well. Go over to google.com and I'm going to search for articles and websites that are related to how to lose weight. So I'll just go ahead and type in how to lose weight in here. And after doing a little bit of searching, I found this article that I really like. It's by health.com. So now you can see what the Jack does. So it actually loads up the health.com website with the article that I want, but it has this cool bar on the top of it that has my call to action text on it which is also clickable and which will send people over to any URL I want now this bar will always stay in view so if they try to scroll and read the article it doesn't go away now this looks like health.com but if you look up here you can actually see it's my testing blog now there have been other plugins and other softwares like that do this before but this one is unique in that it does not use iframes. There, this is not an iframe. I'm not just iframing at health.com's website. This is actually putting the content on your website. It's not making a copy of the content because it couldn't do that. If it was making a copy of it, it would be copyright infringement. What it's actually doing is asking health.com for the content on the fly and then simply displaying the content that health.com responds with. This means that your article is always going to be updated too, because if they update their article, you will always get the latest version since it's asking for the content on the fly. This also has another really cool side effect. Since this is not an iframe, all of the meta tags are now on your website. They're related to your website. And I'm going to explain to you right now why that is really cool. All right, so here we are on Facebook, and as we said before, the second thing that people need is to be able to get traffic. I mean, that right there is going to give you the content, and that's going to give you a little bit of authority because it's showing health.com stuff, but you need to be able to get traffic to your site in the first place, and if you don't, you, there's no sense in even having that. Nobody's going to see it. Because this doesn't use an iframe, all of the meta tags and all of the graphics are now being associated with, with your website. So what that means is you can go up here, and you can grab the URL for your post where you're jacking a site. I'll just grab that up here. And then I'm going to go back over to Facebook and paste it in a post. And you can see Facebook is now pulling all the graphics, all the content from my website as if it was coming from health.com. Facebook doesn't know the difference because all of that content is showing as if it was on my site. It's not an iframe. If it was an iframe, this wouldn't work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, check out these great tips on how to lose weight. And I'm going to post this only for me because I only want myself to see this. So I'll go ahead and click on the post button. And you can see now it says check out these great tips on how to lose weight. It has the health.com, all of the graphics, all of the text. It even says health.com underneath it. But watch what happens when I click on it. It's not going to health.com. It's going to my page with the jacked site on it, showing my call to action bar on it and my call to action text link. Now, I made that post to my personal timeline, but I could have also posted it to related groups. I could have posted it to G+. I could have posted it to other social networks, and it would work just the same. So now, in order to get traffic to my site, all I have to do is find niche-related articles, jack them, post them to Facebook or to the other social networks. And in order to get clicks to my CPA offers, I can put this really cool banner above with my call to action text, which is clickable. This is going to give me authority and this is going to give me content 
and it's going to make it very easy for me to get traffic because all I have to do is post links to the social networks. It's actually going to be good traffic as well because it's not like spammy, like, hey, check out my offer traffic. You just do it nice and passively like I just did before saying, hey, check out this great article I found.